I'm not gonna waste your time saying what this video is about. You already read the title. So the first free editor I have on the list is Microsoft Clipchamp. Microsoft Clipchamp comes with any Windows computer, but a couple things that are different about it is that it has stock footage and stock pictures you can download for free. And it gives the option for you to do screen recording. Say you're making a reaction video, you can record the screen and your face at the same time. Or if you wanted to, you could just record the screen. It also has text to speech. So if you're making a YouTube video, but you don't want to record the voiceover, you can just type in what you want the AI to say and it will say it for you. You see this used a lot in short form content like TikToks and YouTube shorts. Okay, the second editor I have on this list is CapCut. CapCut is mainly used for TikToks and YouTube Shorts because it comes with a bunch of preset things like transitions and tons of stuff that people would use in short form content. CapCut also has the main features a video editing software should have, like keyframing, motion tracking, and adding text onto your video. CapCut can also do text to speech just like Microsoft Clipchamp, but you can write something about a product and CapCut will make a script from AI out of that. So I think that's pretty cool. This video is very good, so you should like and subscribe. I also don't think this feature in CapCut is very good. I think CapCut's a really great editor if you're a beginner and you're just trying to do all the things that all the fancy editors can do. You just don't have the skills or the time to be able to do all the transitions yourself. So you'd rather just take an editor like CapCut, which has amazing presets that you can use and only takes a fraction of the time. Now the last video editing software I have on this list is by far my favorite. It's DaVinci Resolve, the free version. The reason why I love DaVinci Resolve so much is because it lets you have so much control over everything you're doing, almost as much as a professional editor does. It's just 100% free. You can buy the full version, which is about $300 if you wanted to, but most people say that the free version has most of the things that the full version has. Now DaVinci Resolve doesn't have as many presets and stuff like that as CapCut, but overall, if you're a little bit more skilled, it has everything you could ever want in a video editor. It separates your edit into different stages with these panels on the bottom. You have panels like cut, edit, fusion, and color. Adobe After Effects costs money, but fusion in DaVinci Resolve is basically like Adobe After Effects. And in the free version, you can still do a lot of the things you could do in the normal fully priced DaVinci Resolve. One of my favorite panels in DaVinci Resolve is the color panel. There are so many different things you can do in this panel, from motion tracking to color grading. A lot of your edit can be done in the color panel. The full version of DaVinci Resolve is well known for being a great color grading software, but you can still do amazing color grading in the free version, like I said before. Also, you can do a lot more audio editing in DaVinci Resolve than you can in any other free software. The Fairlight panel allows you to add effects to your audio, do voiceovers, and there are so many other things you can do in there. I really never use that because I don't audio edit much, but it's definitely something that makes DaVinci Resolve even more worth it. Well, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Now go download one of these editors and start creating something. I'll see you in the next video.